Hey, it's Works Hard, and I wanted to say hi to my MK3 fam. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber, if you've been here before, I just want to say thank you for coming back. Okay, so it's a deal going on at Dollar General, and um, I'm not really familiar with Dollar General. I want to say I don't like Dollar General, but today made my third time in Dollar General, so it's kind of not fair to say I don't like Dollar General. It's just that the first time I went there, Everything was messy and dirty and not in stock. And it, the aisles were super tight. Didn't like it. Walked right back out. Because they didn't have hardly anything I needed that was supposed to be on sale. But I went to uh, Dollar General in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania this past weekend. And it was lovely. The aisles were nice. Everything was clean. They had everything in stock. So it was wonderful. But I was watching um, this YouTuber by the name of Mrs. Save-A-Lot. And she was talking about this wonderful uh, deal at Dollar General. So, I'm going to show you her channel. This is her channel, Mrs. Save-A-Lot. And so, she has said, she told us everything on how you were supposed to get this deal at Dollar General. So, initially, you are to, uh, let's see, like have them... Like, scan all your stuff in, but don't hit total. You tell them up front, don't hit the total. And then you do one of these surveys up before you get there, and you have them scan this coupon, $3 off of your next visit. But you got to spend 15 But that's okay, because all this stuff has to come to 20 because the deal is $5 off of um, $20 worth of game products. So the products have to have gain in it. So, she says to do that. <sighs> Sorry. And then, you, but before you get there, you're going to clip all your coupons, which I did. So, let me show you what that's supposed to look like. Okay, so you're going to use this $2 Tide, uh, not too lot of $2 Tide, the $2 Gain Pods. And you're going to use this dollar off the Scent Boosters. And let's see. <laughs> You're supposed to use this here and get the two dollars off of Febreze products. I wanted to get the aerosol spray with the but but it had to have gain in it. They didn't have any more. And you were supposed to use it's a coupon for Mr. Clean, I believe. No, it's not a coupon for Mr. Clean. And you're supposed to use this coupon here where it says $5 off your $20 game purchase. So, if I was able to get the aerosol spray, which I wasn't, that would those would have been, th um, these right here are $3 each. So that would have been $6 and I would have saved 3 but they didn't have those. So, I had to do a substitution and get this, which was three fifty five. So I got two of those. So I got two of those. They did have the fireworks scent booster you're supposed to get the 40 ounce of the liquid gain and one Tide Pod and one Mr. Clean with gain in it 24 ounce and if you get one 40 ounce one 9.7 ounce of the gain fireworks one Tide Pod, one gain flings with the 12 to 16 count and two of the aerosols, which I didn't get, and and the 24 ounce Mr. Clean with the gain in it. Your total before taxes should come to twenty dollars and forty cents. But my total did not come to that because they didn't have the right combination. They didn't have a Mr. Clean. They didn't have the aerosol with the gain in it. So I had to get these, which were fifty five cents more expensive than what I wanted to get a piece, and I had to get another one of these. So. I get to the register, and um, now Miss Save a Lot, she said this is what you're supposed to do. Tell the cashier, don't hit total. Let them scan your stuff in, like scan all your items, and then you have them scan the little coupon code first, and then you put your phone number in so that they can take the digital coupons off. And let's see. Yeah, and then they hit total. And when she was finished, 
her total came to three dollars and some change before tax so it might have been like five dollars or something after she was finished or four or something I don't know but because I had to do some substitutions and the cashier was hard-headed and she hit my total before I asked her to my total originally was like twenty three dollars and some change so when it took everything off it came down to ten dollars and twenty one cents which was not bad because I did some substitutions and everybody knows that gain is high as I don't know what but I would have liked a six dollar total or something too I mean hey so I'm gonna try to do this deal again at a different Dollar General and see if they have everything so where I can work the deal the right way and see if I can get the person to ring it up the way I asked and if you're wondering why didn't I just cancel the transaction I'm not familiar enough with Dollar General to where if she canceled it would those coupons have gone back onto my account so that's the only reason why I still did it so I got a couple Febreze's with gain I got two Tide Pods with gain I got one fireworks and I got a bottle of detergent and it all came to ten dollars and twenty one cents and that's with my tax so, if you can get the deal to work out right, your total should be roughly around $6, maybe less. <sighs> so, hopefully you can. But I wanted to share this knowledge with everybody. So, thanks for tuning in. And hit the like button and subscribe.